what's poppin' and welcome back to a brand new episode of 3 Hour Builds, the series where I try to build as much of an app as possible within 3 hours. Today we're gonna be building a weather app that's gonna be as functional as possible as the other apps I've built haven't been that functional, but without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are, we got the standard boiler template that we get with Flutter that we've set up here, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to our browser and we're gonna press start on this 3 hour timer and we're gonna start coding away on this weather app. I found a little bit of an inspiration kind of thing here, I'm thinking we're gonna go with some kind of picture like this in the background and then some like neo what do you call it glass morphism kind of over overlay should look pretty cool let's see if we can make this as functional as possible but without further ado let's hit the start timer and i'll see you in a little bit let's go so what i did at the beginning was just set up the api and the api is called open weather api and it's a very nice package that you can use to fetch weather data for free of course your boy used the free one as we don't want to pay for this kind of stuff so i didn't get all of the features so if you pay for it you can get a lot more of the weather data but now i'm just able to pull the current weather for any city and then a five hour forecast which is what I used. So I set this up on Open Weather API and it took a little bit of time for it to get going, like 20 minutes or so. And after that, I could start making API calls, which worked very well. Then I hopped over to my favorite website, Canva, and I started working on the backgrounds that I was gonna use for the app. And what I did was I put these backgrounds inside of a page view. And then inside of this page, view, I had a different city and I had a different background for every city. And on top of these backgrounds, I then used a stacked widget in order to put a particular piece of weather information on top of that background in order to give you this nice look of like a weather overview. I think it turned out pretty well and it ended up working very well in terms of how the API works. So I was very happy with that. Okay, so we have done uh, a little bit of crisscrossing here. I thought I was going to make faster progress than I actually made. I've spent 45 minutes setting up this whole API and it's super simple. It's just you use this fetch uh, or what it's called, it's called Weather Factory, I'm not sure what the plugin is called, but you use this open weather API and you just get an API key, you fetch the weather from a particular city, so I've made this function where you can get a weather item by using this function. Then after that we're gonna use this in a weather page, which is what we're gonna set up here now. So I'll be able to look at the weather for different cities, whatever I uh, tell this function to fetch. The API took a little bit of time for it to get uh, get going, I'm not sure I registered it and like it took 15 minutes before I could use it, but I guess that is to be expected. But now I'm gonna see if I can make a nice layout here with some glass amorphism etc on this page. Let's continue. I then spent some time building the visualization page itself, which essentially was the set background, and then on top of that we had this glass morphism container where you have put the city, I also put the weather data, like the temperature for example, also the day, and I thought it would look pretty nice, and I tried to match the colors with the picture and also the vibe of the background that I had, and I did this for every single city, and of course it builds automatically, but then I was able to do this for every single city, which turned out to look pretty nice. <music> Alright, so we've made quite a bit of progress here. We have this nice looking weather page that's dynamic now, so you can, for example, change the, uh, the country or the uh, city that you're looking for, and then we'll see the specific weather for that city. Right now I have these cities here. I have Cape Town, London, New York, Tokyo, Sydney, Stockholm. Um, what we're gonna do now for, is we're gonna put all of these in some kind of page view so that you can swipe between these ones and, and view, for example. Right now you're viewing London, and then poof, you swipe and you're viewing Stockholm, for example. So that's gonna be the next mission. But what we have here is essentially two widgets. We have like a whole page view widget which has this little uh, glass morphism box at the top. And then we have the same thing at the bottom but this is a list view builder where you get the, uh, the forecast for the next five timestamps that they provide for free. I mean if you have the, the API key to access this in the full 
uh, or the full version of it, then you can get more stuff. Now I have the free ones, so I can just access five uh, snapshots of hours. So we have for the next 12 hours, we have 10 o'clock right now, and then we have 10 next morning. Uh, where we can see the stuff and now we have London it's 30 degrees in London right now actually let's check this on Google and see what the temperature is like 13 13 boom we're building a functional weather app let's go so yeah we're gonna add a page here we're gonna clean some of this stuff up I'm just gonna see how much time we have left right now we're at about an hour and ten minutes left so maybe we have time to make some kind of uh, thing where you can press and view more stuff like max temperature min temperature uh, real feel all that kind of stuff Let's see how we get on. Yeah, no, I'm studying like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look young. Andy Miller knocking money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket engine, get to rock it. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock. No, Russell what's the way I get low and stay in the pocket. I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown. Yeah, I can't do no time, only that gun around. In my teens, we were acting up and running around. Now we're grown, still get to it if it's necessary. On the ground from January to January, never met nobody who retired when they were young. They were young. So I guess I gotta get it to the cemetery. Go, go. Getting paid just for rapping this fun. It's fun. I let up around the month in every February. Yeah. 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 Talk inside, no electric. electric. Yeah. It's getting hectic. So we have this still the same old page, so you can switch between the different places. And now what we're gonna implement is so you can press this and then get like a detailed view, so like the air pressure or the minimum temperature, the sunrise, sunset, etc. I don't think this should be too complicated. We only have 42 minutes left, so we kind of got to hurry up with this and make sure that we finish it before uh, three hours have passed. But I don't think it should be too uh, complicated. We're just going to add like a list view with a bunch of list tiles showing that, yeah, air pressure, temperature, sunrise, sunset, real feel, blah, 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 blah. But it should be pretty good. Let's see how it turns out. Got the loop to hit the bank. Can never change. Still wrote the change. Kept this say the pay, this say the day. They made me wait. I'm breaking chains. Yeah, yeah. Tell me feeling bubbly at the rose. Rose a minute, but I got it at the slow way. Friends turn to foes, hate to tell them go away. Rappers make a shiggy dance like a soul train. Told them slide, no electric, electric. As you can see the final part was just a very simple visualization layer where you could press a particular city and then you could see some more details that you can't see on the front page. And I did this using the exact same method, it's just I exported a little bit more granular data and then I displayed this in a list view with a bunch of different list tiles where I had an icon and then I had a text which was the data and then I had a function which is what pulled the weather data. It turned out to look pretty good and now it gives you a little bit more detail than the standard page does. So we have 21 minutes left exactly and we're actually gonna call it there because I am pretty much done with this which is relatively unexpected because I was shooting to finish a lot of this within a relatively short period of time but we're gonna call it there and we're gonna go through the app quickly and just show you what I've built. So essentially what I showed you before is that we have this little, oh it's telling me to go to sleep now is that we have this little main page kind of thing where you can see a specific city and you can see some of the weather metrics for that particular city. So here we have Tokyo for example, we're showing 14 degrees right now, it's a Friday and it feels like 14 degrees as well. So what this is, is one of these detailed weather pages and what it does is that it has a future builder that uses this function, fetch weather. And that's just a simple function where we from uh, the open weather API, we just fetch the current weather and we get that as a weather format. What we then do is that we, using this future builder, we build the whole container. So the container essentially has this image as the background and on top of this container we have two glass morphism containers. So first there's this one which has the weather etc. And at the bottom here we have a little list view and that is linking to this weather forecast thing. And what the weather forecast is, is just that it's a bottom listing and essentially it's the exact same method, it's just we're using the same fetch weather forecast which is a little bit of a different function because instead of getting just the weather, you're getting a list of different weathers, I guess. So what we're then doing is that we're using this to build a list at the bottom, so we're having a list view builder and then here we're getting for each and every one of these, so we're getting five types timestamps essentially. And for each and every one of these, we're pulling, for example, the icon, and then we're pulling the temperature and the particular time. So at one o'clock, it will be 15. At one o'clock next day, it will be 19, for example. And then what this is, is just it's all wrapped in a, a page view builder here in the, in the front page. So we have a page view, we have this controller, and then this children, it's just screens. And this is just like the different weather pages that I just, just showed. So then when you go through like this, you can scroll to Stockholm, scroll to Sydney, 
scroll to London, scroll to New York, scroll to Lagos for example. So yeah, pretty cool. But then we also have this detailed weather page and what this is is that when you click this little box here you get taken to this so Lagos for example we're doing the exact same using a future builder and fetching the weather for Lagos we're getting the the bro you know the type of weather we have so we have broken clouds we're getting the temperature we're getting the overcast and in the background we have like a blurred version of the image that is on the on the front page which I think is pretty looks pretty damn good same thing here Sydney, they have clear sky. It feels like yeah, 20 degrees right now. The pressure is 112, whatever that is. Wind comes from, yeah, I'm not sure which direction, 300 degrees. You can work that out if you have a compass. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. I was quite happy with how much I got done in like two hours and 40 minutes. This is the first time that I built an app that actually works. I mean, you can optimize it for sure, but it kind of works. It shows you, shows you the real real life real time weather and it will work continuously which is pretty cool and that is that for today's video thank you so much for watching if you want to try to use this yourself i'll be leaving all of the source code in the comments so you can try to adapt it yourself on github if you want to test it out if you want to add some functionality if you want to copy it do whatever you want with it but thank you so much for watching if you want to continue watching these kinds of videos and other videos then please leave a like and subscribe down below and i'll see you in the next one peace